I'm Andy Westmoreland, Sanford President. I'd say that one of the best decisions that I've made in the 10 years that I've served here is the decision to ask Dr. Betsy Holloway to become our Vice President for Marketing and Communication. Shortly after she began her service in that position, she determined, and I agreed, that we needed to do a rebranding study for the university. She led us through a process to identify firms that could assist. And it was through that process that we chose Dartlet. In fact, we learned that there was a lot of help that we needed to get this done because, as they say, there were a lot of moving parts with all of this. Now, let us take you on a brief journey to see exactly how this process unfolded. There are more than 4,000 colleges and universities in the United States today. So branding is very important in order for Sanford to be able to create a unique identity in the marketplace and be known uh, not just regionally and nationally, but even globally. Branding is an important part of that process. We chose to go with Dartlet for several reasons. First of all was their approach. Their approach is consensus driven. The way that they go about doing reputation strategy work involves all stakeholders providing input to the process. So this branding project that they proposed to us involved multi-steps involving qualitative research, quantitative research, but importantly involving all the Sanford stakeholders including students, employees, and alumni. Dartlet likes to take a deep dive on the front end of any creative project and have a, a deep understanding of the institution, its mission, and its personality before moving into the creative and logo development. So this process started with a deep qualitative research on our campus that involved hundreds and hundreds of employees, students, and alumni so that Dartlet could understand our university, our mission, and our personality, how we see ourselves. We're all about really the psychology of an organization or an enterprise. And so what we do is we use interactive workshops and high volume research. And all of that research then in, in our world then guides creative outcomes. So a new bulldog, for example, some refinement to some logo marks and design system elements, and perhaps even more importantly, messaging. I was uh, made aware of, of some of the historical foundings in the process and a story was told about the connectivity between some of the base ideals of Sanford from the very first president of the university on down. And when you look at some of that, you see connectivity between that um, innovator and leader in the day to the, the, the character and leadership of Sanford 175 years later. And I think we've tapped into that in a way that will help the institution to maintain its identity, uh, but also to expand its reputation and awareness um, in, in really important areas in the, in the future. Once Darlet had a good understanding of who we think we are based on the qualitative research with hundreds of our employees, students, and alumni, they then set about a process to understand how we are perceived in some key demographic markets, specifically Birmingham, Nashville, and Atlanta. What we learned is that Sanford's a bit more than what 
uh, meets the eye uh, of the external market. And we're excited to see how you take the work that we've done here, this foundation stone of, of research, and apply it to all of your communications moving forward in a way that will help the institution actually grow its reputation and become known for the things that it, it really should be known for at this point. We are the Bulldogs and that's who we are and we asked Dartmouth not to, to mess with who we were as a university from that perspective. Uh, the Bulldog is sacred. But, but what Dartlet did a great job was, was including our coaches and our student athletes and, and a lot of our constituents, donors and others, um, to really kind of narrow down what that Bulldog needed to look like. Uh, take it from more of a cartoonish look to something that really represented what we wanted from an athletic standpoint. So the way that we would approach any creative mark, and certainly a bulldog, is one, is it on personality? Is the personality right? And we can gauge right or wrong communication or artwork or brand work, not based on our opinion or your opinion, but on who Samford is. So once we defined that in the early research, we knew then what this bulldog had to achieve, what it had to elicit, ideas of leadership, sophistication, uh, you know, being compassionate, all kinds of things that were at play here that we had to draw out. So we use a very rigorous uh, multi-tier research process, quantitative and qualitative research, nationally and here at Sanford, to make sure it's not just a dog that we think is attractive, but it's communicating the right ideals and that it's, a, that it's a bulldog that the market isn't using, that it's competitively distinctive and can be owned by the university, and we've done that. project sought to intentionally assure that we're bridging our logos and brands across academics and athletics. We're excited about the new Bulldog. We feel like it represents the toughness that we want in an athletic department, uh, the, the tenacity that we want in an athletic department. It's very regal. Uh, it has a leadership quality to it, which, which we strive for in athletics. Uh, so we're really excited about the new Bulldog mark. Uh, but we're also excited about some of the other marks as well. The Sam Dot, uh, going back to the, the Sam Not Stand t-shirts and how that played well in replacing uh, the SU. I think it's going to be very recognizable. I think the Dot separates us from from anything else that's out there on the college uh, market, you know, which has a tendency to be this uh, uh, sameness. And so we're trying to differentiate our university. And, and then the S dot uh, is going to play in well as we use it for certain items such as baseball caps, football helmets, uh, television graphics, that type thing. There were two other important elements of this project. First, Based upon all of the qualitative and quantitative research that Darlet conducted, they've created a message platform to help all of us at Sanford in charge of communicating about Sanford and our programs. This will provide an invaluable tool for all of us to assure that we are communicating about Sanford in compelling and consistent ways. The tools that we provide and the way that we do it, consensus driven, and the tools are for the masses, not just for eight, nine, ten people in marketing. So you're going to see increased consistency, uh, clarity around who you are and how you ought to tell your story, and everybody's involved in that. So consistency, cohesion, transformation over time, lasting years. So now we have uh, the hard work of implementation. We will be working over the coming weeks and months to get our new logos and word marks in use all over the campus. We will be slowly but steadily getting all of this new branding in place in the months to come and we look forward to you seeing it here on campus yourself here soon. A lot of hard work and effort has gone into this project over weeks and months, and I am immensely grateful for everyone who's had a part in making this project such a great success. Thank you. So now that you've seen our new Bulldog, now that you've seen the elements of our visual identity, now that you've seen how the process worked, I hope that you can share some of the excitement that we feel 
about Sanford University as we enter an important new era of our program.